Darth Vader 25. Um, real quick though, guys, uh, for anyone who requests a comic review, just be aware that I'm not up to date on all the comics. So anything that you request, I mean, this goes for anything too, not just comics, but anything that you request, I'll let you know if I'm caught up or if I need like, obviously time, like I haven't read it yet or something like that. If it's a book or comic review or something like that, um, I'll let you guys know if it'll take me a little bit longer. Um, luckily Darth Vader series I'm caught up on cause of course it's Darth Vader. Um, <laughs> my like one of my favorite characters so uh i was caught up on this one so luckily uh i can review the finale of the darth vader marvel comic series so let's get into it so obviously there will be a little bit of spoilers if you have not read the comic or if you don't want to hear spoilers then just be aware there's gonna be a little bit of spoilers um i'm gonna not try to spoil it too much i mean um but the main plot yeah, it will probably be said during this because it's hard to review something without telling the plot, especially with this one because it has, it has to tie in with my review a lot. Um, but, you know, Darth Vader ended on a good a good note, I feel like. Um, definitely, like, it wasn't a surprising ending. There was no, oh my god, moments or endings like that. It's more just, you know, the writing is is fantastic in this series throughout and... This one especially ended in just such a way that you have to have it end for Vader. I feel like uh, he everything just dropped into a good place for him. He was uh, back in the Emperor's good standing. He was uh, he killed he killed uh, Silo. He killed Tag, who was the uh, commander of the Executor. He now has control over the Executor um, after obviously killing Tag um, and. Afra was dead, yet she survived at the end of the comic. Um, that part, I don't know if I liked or not. She's a loose end, but, you know, she survived, and now she's out there. But she was still loyal. She didn't tell the Emperor uh, his secret about Luke. So, you know, she shouldn't be that much of a loose end. Uh, Darth Vader, you know, obviously thought he killed her, but he didn't because she's smart. And, and, you know, it's great, I guess, because now she can have maybe her own little series or whatever they want to do with her she's out there uh to be able to do that because she was definitely one of the most standout characters in this series so you know it's really nice to uh it's really nice that she survived in a way i guess for she had a lot of fans in the series as this new character but she was just so cool um but yeah i mean vader vader just he won everything just fell into place for him um and that that is why the finale was just so good. You know, it took place after New Hope, uh, obviously. Um, so he's in command of the Executor. The Emperor likes him. He got rid of every loose end. I mean, what else could go wrong? It, it's just the perfect setup. Admiral Ozzel's in there. Uh, <laughs> he messes with him a little bit. It's, it's a little bit funny. Um, but again, this comic shows off Darth Vader's ruthlessness again when he's killing Silo. He's just like, oh, you're... Uh, Silo's bragging about being basically immortal and he's just like oh Vader's like oh that means I can just kill you repeatedly and he keeps just ripping Silo's uh, Silo from limb from limb from limb and until he gets to the actual Silo uh, and just flies him straight into the sun with the Jedi mind trick is it's, it's great Vader's just ruthless and you know he's just no mercy on Afro when he decided to kill her um just no mercy on her it was just so fitting like he only said one thing too it was just the perfect end to their whole partnership they've had through the series he just one word he's one or one sentence just ended that whole thing and then that silence after she got ejected out the airlock although you know vader should have definitely used his saber because she survived but it's whatever um yeah but it was a i feel like it's a great finale um of course the series had to end. I mean, I wish it didn't. <laughs> uh, Darth Vader is a great series. I wish they would do another one kind, another one uh, following a different arc of his. Um, but, like I said, overall good series. If you have not read the Darth Vader series, I suggest you, you go out there and read it, man. You go out there and read that. That's a good series. As, especially if you like Sith. I mean, who doesn't like Darth Vader? So, just go read it. And... If you haven't read the finale yet, go read the finale. It, if, if you've read the rest of it, you know. Um, it was definitely a good closing, though. Um, I look forward to seeing more comics of him, maybe. I hope. Uh, 
other than that, yeah. But that's that's my review. I mean, pretty solid, pretty pretty decent, like nine out of ten for me. My only complaint is that Afro lived. Um, as much as like you know, people are happy about that or whatever. I just wish he would have killed her. Like, yeah, it just feels weird with her as a loose end running out out there. I know she's not going to be a problem, obviously, but it's just ugh, a minor annoyance to me. <laughs> loose ends. Um, but yeah, go check out my other content over here. And remember to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.